They were all out of pastrami, so I got you a breakfast burrito instead. Sausage? Nah, I got you some kind of tofu thing. <laughs> Don't fuck with me like that. So do you want to tell me what we're doing out here, Sergeant Hopper? Stakeout. I, I know that part, but why? This warehouse is owned by Martin Moretti, and he has a big shipment moving through here tonight. I figure we can keep an eye out, maybe see a familiar face or two. That all sounds like Vice's job. Why are we pulling overtime down here? Sir, do you want to tell me what this has to do with Kung Fu Kitty? I knew Kung Fu Kitty. Back before he went through a rough or renegade or anti-hero, whatever you want to call him. We actually trained together at the academy. We were in the same graduating class. But Kung Fu Kitty, he was always in a class of his own. It's no surprise that he had the best arrest record on the force for the first five years of service. We were even teamed up together on a few cases. Teamed up with Kung Fu Kitty and just meant you were in a front row seat to watching him be amazing. Then one day, him and his partner took down one of Martin Moretti's top captains. Big bust. Must have been a real bad day at the Moretti mansion. It was an even worse day for Kung Fu Kitty. Moretti's guys killed his pregnant fiance and his brother. The next morning, we found out they hit his partner. It was a bloodbath. At the funeral, I tried to talk to Kung Fu Kitty, but he was inconsolable. You could see it in his eyes. He just wasn't there anymore. And I, I never saw him again. A few months later, Moretti's guys started showing up in emergency rooms, while the ones that could make it to the hospital. And Kung Fu Kitty left a trail of blood and scratches. Martin Moretti declared war, and it got so bad he pulled up stakes and moved his whole operation overseas. Recently, I've heard whispers he was back in town. I figured it was only a matter of time until victims start showing up with scratch marks again. So, Kung Fu Kitty's not really a bad guy then, huh? It's not about good guys or bad guys, rookie. It's about the right way and the wrong way. And the right way is the law. Uh, we've got movement, Saj. Am I to see me, or is that Johnny Welch? He's got at least three active warrants on his head. <laughs> yes, sir. And that other guy is Dave Wrangle. I'm fairly confident he's got a few overdue warrants as well. Well, well. Looks like we just found our invitation to the party. Well, we just got here and my dance card is already full. How do you want to do this, Saj? We'll go in right after our friends there. Follow my lead, keep your head down, and keep quiet. There's no way to know what we're walking into in there, so I'd rather sneak up on it. And what if Kung Fu Kitty shows up? <sighs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Here we go. What are you goons standing around for? We got a little under an hour before these trucks gotta leave. Inside each one of these big crates are 25 modified liter dynamic series T2 MK5s. And the smaller crate should have 15 modify LR300s. Open these crates, ensure the count is correct, then reseal the crates and get them up on those trucks. Let's go! We don't get these in on time, we don't get paid, so let's move! Dave, Johnny, good timing. Do me a favor and show these guys how it's done. I got a deadline that's killing me. I take it that's our cue, Sarge? Hold back, just a minute. I got a bad feeling about this. Hey boss, we got a problem over here. This crate's coming up real light. There's something in there. I can feel it bouncing around, but it's not enough weight for the guns. Well, open it up and let's see what we got. Oh, well how'd you get in there? What is it? Just the most adorable kitten you've ever seen. No, you fool! Oh. 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 No! Please! Oh, stop! Please! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's it's 
in loading dock 42! But you'll never make it in time. <laughs> no, please! Freeze! Don't you move, Kung Fu Kitty. You take three steps back and turn around real slow like. That's it. Nice and slow. I want to see those paws. What's that, Kitty? No, Joe Hanson. He has you just where he wants you. <laughs> Don't you move. I've got you right in my sights. And I'll end it all, damn you. Joe Hanson! Joe Hanson, can you hear me? What did you do to him? Better just be knocked out. Just a headache my ass. Don't you try that cutesy shit with me. Of course I know whose warehouse is. I got eyes. I can see the guns. What am I supposed to do about it? You know this is way above my pay grade. I'm the fucking cop here. Don't you pull that shit with me. You had your chance to do things the right way. Seek out true justice. But this? This mess is a shit show and I'm taking you down. What do you mean, 50 more deliveries just like this? All over the city? I'll call it in. I'll round up every cop in the streets. Damn it, you're right. There's just not enough time. The enemy of my en Damn it, fine. We're gonna do this one together, but we're doing it my way, by the book. And Minetti will see his day in court. Kung Fu Kitty, it's my way or no way. You in or out? All right then, what dock number was it? 42? That's just a few miles from here. I'll have a car out front. Listen up, Kung Fu Kitty. You put one claw out of line, just once. And I'll drop you like a bad habit, you got me? Good, let's go.